So welcome to the project demonstration of IoT controlled DC motor speed and direction controlling system. So here we are going to control the uh, 9 volt operated DC motor speed and direction controlling through the L293D motor driver. So here we are receiving the uh, commands to control the DC motor speed and direction through IoT from mobile phone. That is for uh, IoT purpose we are making use of this ESP8266 module and the whole system controlled by our main microcontroller uh, pic 16 f 73 so here the main power source is from this adapter we are going to provide the input of 230 volts input and output from this adapter is 5 volts regulated power supply so once the microcontroller get the 5 volts power supply it start reading input from the input module of esp8266 module so based on the commands sending from our phone so the system will control the dc motor in clockwise or counterclockwise and also speed increasing decreasing by changing the duty cycle from the PWM. So here the L293 is a motor driver which can control the speed and direction of a two DC motor simultaneously. So here our requirement is only controlling of one DC motor. So here the commands two pins are from the microcontroller to control the direction. So these two pins to control the direction of the DC motor and this particular one pin is to get the speed level of the PWM signal and is a main power source for the DC motor. So before switching on this kit, so we need to install two applications in our phone. So that is SSH client. So this is the one application we need to install. So there is Juice SSH application and Network Analyzer. This is another network, network analyzer application. And next go to hotspot settings of your phone and change the hotspot name to the project 4753 without any space without any capital letter and a password 129 after enabling the hotspots and after installing the application connect the battery and then give the power supply to the system so that we can see the Wi-Fi monitor getting initialized so it will be paired to our IoT module and once pairing was successfully done the light will be on and off two times so now we can see the same thing one device is connected here right one device is got connected and now next go to network analyzer app do LAN scan so that we can see the ESP express that is 192.168.13.116 so note on the application sorry note on the IP address and now go to here and now manage connections and add so here we need to do some steps like here the type is going to be the telnet and address type the address which we get from the application so that is a 192.168.13.116 13.116 right check twice clearly and next change is port number 8080 so these three steps are very important type telnet and uh, type the IP address correctly cutting from the network analyzer app and port number 8080 then click on ok so next time onwards it will be appear directly on the Q connection so now so we can see that welcome to the project message right everything was successfully done we can see the welcome to the project so now initially we need to set the direction so for that just type F and enter okay now I want to increase the speed then type U and enter the system will reply you the received character and just and keep on increasing the speed of the DC motor by typing continuously U U U okay so next for speed down purpose same D F for forward and U for speed up and D for speed down and B for backward rotation. So just I'm doing the speed. Right. Okay. And again down because the reverse direction the current is not sufficient to drive the DC motor same down key will be worked till the DC motor speed gets zero so we can by seeing the DC motor rotation we can control the speed right 
again forward direction right okay in forward direction less current and backward direction it will take more current that's why we should place the more pwm signal by entering the u key right in this way we can control the dc motor speed and direction by using l293 motor driver and iot through esp8266 module